Um, I want to test it. So I've not actually keepered this yet, but because it triggers when you keeper it back, um, you can actually get some pretty... Like, in theory, it's it's more Mercantos, right? It's more AoE. And if the best deck right now is Swarm, then I want to be playing as much AoE as possible. Which actually makes this deck pretty great, because I've got Rebuke, Riftwalker, Thunderhorn, Plasma Storm, and Warbeast. I'm just like... And Iridium Scale. I'm just like AoE for days. So I'm happy with that. Um, actually, for those interested, so this is my current Keeper build. I think the only new card in it is Riftwalker. Um, but we've lost... Sunsteel Defender, which makes a big difference. In practice, I've played a few games of this deck. I won most of them. Like, it's, it feels good. It feels strong. Reasonably well-placed right now. Um, a lot of people are playing normal mid-range Varth, which you could beat because you have these. Um, like, this card is worse now that Rebuke exists, because you can't Rebuke while it's in play very efficiently, and your opponent has an easy way to remove it that isn't natural selection, because you can bait those or play around them. Um, but... It does give you a huge leg up in the matchup. The one downside is I don't play Saurian Finality, and I should probably find a way to squeeze one in. Um, the, th the three drop I'm currently playing is Void Hunter. I think there's a lot of good new options, like as well as some of the old ones. Even things like Angered Okadok are worth testing. There's like a Ropsasaur. I think that card is really good, and I want to test that out, but it's legendary, so I haven't crafted them yet. Um, there's quite a few good new three drops, actually. I'm trying to remember the rest of them offhand, but there's, um, let's just have a quick look. It's like, Quill Beast is good, Raptor's okay, Crater's okay, I think, like, it's probably, the effect is obviously great, but, um, I think getting back a 2-4 off Keeper is rubbish. Um, that's rotated, let's look at standard cards only, that's bad, Rage Binder's still a thing, no, um, I mean, that's funny. Probably bad, though. Like, Pterodon? You know, if, if if decks playing Zix are very popular, like, Pterodon is probably good. Um, this little guy. This. Like, getting back... I, have to, I haven't tried that yet, actually. Getting back Bloodbond Mentor off Keeper seems great. But the deck doesn't really need card draw, but it doesn't hurt to have it, and getting extra Bloodbond spell triggers isn't bad. Uh, Chaos Elemental... Milkblood Devourer, the ones I've played in the past. This thing, like, this thing's pretty good, especially if... Oh, uh, you don't play Cryptographers, it makes it a bit worse. Um, Cell Soul? Like, that's probably... I don't think you can afford that, but that's an interesting idea. And even Wild Tar. But I don't, think, I don't think any of those are as good as the Humble Void Hunter. Like, this card is really strong. Uh, I'll just check, I haven't missed anything legendary. Yeah, there's this guy where I need to test. That's a really strong effect. Um, oh. <laughs> no. So. I don't know. <laughs> no. Yeah, so it's better. A Ropsasaur is, is a new competitor, but I think, I think Void Hunter is where it's at. You kill your keeper though, which feels kind of subpar. If I'm understanding the way it works correctly, I think the Riftwalker actually comes in and explodes before the keeper comes in. But to be honest, if I'm getting four damage off it, I'm happy for my keeper to die in the process. That's fine. I think the most interesting one is Lodestar. Lodestar is a really cool card. I want to try that. Angry Bird. I need to try that. Um, Okadok. I don't think it's going to be as good as just playing something this big all the time. But it's an interesting one. <laughs> 